the Long Island GLBT Services Network. Come on. Thank you so much for supporting us. Thank you. This is the fourth annual fundraiser. We thank each and every one of you for supporting us. Um, Nikki's going to be back. I'm going to be here. I'll be your host. We're going to have some fun. We're going to give out awards. We're going to do everything. So you guys are ready to have some good food, some good times. Are you, huh? Yeah. That's the only reason why I came here, you know, for the food. It's on behalf of the board of directors and my fellow event chairs and co-chairs, I'd like to welcome one and all to this year's Equality Awards Gala. Give yourselves a hand. I'm going just a little off script for a second. David, do you believe this? Four years ago, this gala had 125 people attend and 25 people of those were comps. <laughs> Look at us now. Give yourselves a round of applause. Look at us. And Sammy Baldwin, Sammy Baldwin led the fight to, to pass the Matthew Shepard Hate Crimes Act. And Sammy Baldwin led the fight to repeal Don't Ask, Don't Tell. And whenever any group has been vilified or challenged, whenever any group has been called names, whenever any group has seen their rights taken away, Tammy Baldwin has been there. Now, I want, to, I want you to tell me honestly, how many of you have been up since 4 a.m. watching the wedding? Oh, I see some hands here. That's actually impressive. You know, I'm, I'm happy for Kate and William, but I know what we're all thinking. If Kate Middleton can marry a prince, shouldn't we all be able to marry a queen? <laughs> Our fight for equal rights is personal. It's personal for all of us. And when every straight American realizes that he or she has a friend, a neighbor, a relative, a co-worker, a teacher, a fellow congregant, a police officer, who is treated as a second-class citizen, who is denied the very rights that they enjoy, who is not legally allowed to live and love as they do, then it becomes personal for them. And that is precisely how we change hearts and minds and laws. They said one-third of the world watched the royal wedding. One-third. That means there are a lot more gay people than we assume in the world. Okay? <laughs> With your continued support, I promise you that we will work even harder. Everyone up here will work even harder. We will work harder to make sure that every single school on Long Island has a GSA. We will work harder to ensure that Patty and every other GLBT senior live their golden years with the respect, the dignity, and the support they deserve. And we will work harder to ensure that everyone who wants to get married can get married. Now, but this is the most incredible, most incredible uh, folks that I have ever worked with in my entire life. And this isn't the only job I've had. I've worked other places too. Um, and so, uh, you know, every day is truly a treasure to come to, uh, to the center and see everyone here who is just so passionate about making a difference in the lives of so many. So please give another round of applause to our staff. So these three very brave young leaders these three very brave young leaders fought the fight um, and eventually won the right to have their Gay Straight Alliance Club. Um, yeah. I didn't think it was going to be like this. I just want to thank Legally and everyone for this award. And if I help anyone out there, then it's all worth it. So, thank you. You know, I really dedicate uh, this award to all, to all the uh, teenagers 
out there that um, feel unwanted and unloved. Um, thank God to the Long Island Gamers being youth, David and Wes. There is org uh, organizations out there that can help you, that do love you, and will accept you. So, um, in in my high school career, I had a teacher named Mr. Farrell, and uh, in the front of his classroom, he had a sign, and it had three simple words on it: "Do what's right." And I took this opportunity, and it was the pr most perfect opportunity to do what's right. And I I can't thank you enough. Thank you. <laughs> In three critical primaries and a general election race, Fight Back New York succeeded in replacing anti-marriage legislators with pro-marriage legislators, winning every race they were involved in. I have spent the better part of the last two years in New York alongside a lot of incredibly dedicated activists from Long Island and across your state, working to convince 62 state legislators that we are not less than, that our families are just as important as your families, and that we deserve basic fairness. Uh, this award really means a lot to me, but by honoring me, what you're really doing is honoring a phenomenal supporting cast that has defined and shaped the very, my very being, my value system, my character, and my sense of social activi activism over a lifetime.